Okay, back to functions. Let's check out more vocabulary, a uh, review of our old vocabulary and a little bit more, and uh, do a few examples again uh, in here. So once again, the name of the function is going to be this letter in here, and this one is function f. That's the name of the function. This is what we call the rule. So the rule of the function is to take whatever x is and add 5. That's what we call the rule. So our examples are, they're going to give us some sort of domain value. In this case, they're asking us to plug in 6 into f. What that means is, take 6 and plug it into here, and what do we know? We get uh, uh, an 11 to pop out, because 6 plus 5 is an 11. And what do we call this? We call this the range, or we call it the output. So notice in these four examples over here, what's going on? F is the name of the function, G is the name of the function, so is H, and so is K. These are four different names of different functions. And notice they all have different rules. This is the rule of F, this is the rule of G, this is the rule of H, and this is the rule for K. And what are we supposed to do in each of these problems? Well, this is saying take 3 and plug it into the rule for F. And so this is like a second problem, plug 0 in. This is like a third problem, plug negative 2 in. This is like a fourth problem, plug negative 5 in. And these are what we call the domain values. We are entering these values into the function. So these would be the four domain values that they're asking us to plug into each of these four functions in here. And then the answers is what we're looking for. That's the range of the output. So let's do a few in here. So I'm going to do the first one here. This one says f of 3. So that means take 3 in your head and do this arithmetic. This is 3 squared, which is 9, minus 9. That would be 0. That's the range. That's the output. That's it. That's the answer. Let's do the next one f of 0. I'm not going to do all of them in here. Let me just do one more for this one. So f of 0, that means plug 0 into this function, to, into this rule. 0 squared is 0, minus 9 is minus 9. Let's do, uh, let's do one from number 3 in here. Let's do h of negative 1. So this one's asking us to take negative 1 and plug it into the rule of h. So the absolute value of negative 1 is a positive 1 minus 2, that would give me a negative 1. Just a coincidence that the domain and the range happen to be the same number. It's not a big deal. So let's do the next one here. This is h of 3. That's how we say it, h of 3. And so that means to take 3 and plug it into the rule. The absolute value of 3 is 3, minus 2 is 1. So hopefully you get the idea uh, of how how we articulate functions, how they work, and the vocabulary associated with